Hello students. Now we have completed the ninth week of this MOOC course on solid and hazardous waste management. In ninth week, we have studied a total of four modules. Out of these four modules, two modules were on the thermal treatment of the solid waste. In these thermal treatments, we studied incineration as well as the gasification and pyrolysis techniques. And the two modules were on the ultimate disposal of solid waste that is through the sanity lead filling. Let me see what we have studied in these modules one by one. In first module of this week, we studied about incineration technology. You know incineration is the process of burning of solid waste at higher temperature in the range of 800 to 1100 degree Celsius. If we burn at lower temperature, then it is not called as incineration, then it is called as open burning. We studied that what are the harmful effects of uh, this uh, open burning and how those effects can be taken care by the process of uh, incineration. Then we studied the concept and the process of incineration because incineration is a complicated process and it in involves a lot of science and engineering. And there are several types of incineration technologies, those we have studied. We also studied the advantages and disadvantages and the applicability of the incineration. And ultimately, we studied that the how energy generation can be calculated from the waste using incineration technology. Nowadays, a number of people, including scientific community are putting a question mark on the incineration technology. People say incineration is nothing but this is reduction in the volume. Means when we burn the waste in incinerator that time we reduce its volume and the things those were present in the solid phase they get converted into gaseous phase. So dear student please read about these aspects also of the incineration. Then. In the second module of this week, we studied about pyrolysis and gasification. You know these processes are basically used to recover energy from the waste. So in this first we studied the concept of uh, advanced thermal treatment technologies. Then we studied about uh, pyrolysis and gasification process and we studied about different products uh, like char, oil, gases which are generated. And then we studied mechanism of this process that how these products are produced in, under, during pyrolysis and gasification. Again, this process can be carried out in a number of ways. Then we studied different types of pyrolysis and gasification. And finally, in this module, we studied merits and demerits of this process of gasification. In next two modules, we studied about sanity landfill. You know, if proper principles of science and engineering are not used, that time a sanity landfill is nothing but a open dump. Sanity landfilling is a very scientific and engineered process. So these two modules started with the problems of open dumping, means what are the problems which we face from the open dumping and how these problems can be taken care using the sanity landfill. Then to make a sanity landfill, there are certain criteria while selecting a site. So those criteria have been discussed in detail. Then how waste will be dumped in a landfill that has also been discussed. Because waste cannot be disposed anywhere, there is a certain marked area where we can dispose the waste, otherwise rest of the area remain covered with the soil. Then there are different types of landfills and we discussed different types of uh, landfills in this module. In the last module, we discussed about structure of the sanity landfill and then we discussed about lining materials and liner system because if the lining materials and liner materials are not used or if good lining materials or liner systems are not used that time leachate that is produced in the landfill, uh, landfill due to the pickling of waste 
that may get leached down and that may pollute our soil as well as our underground uh, water board, uh, underground water or our aquifers. Then we discussed that what kind of waste can be placed in the landfill because all kind of waste cannot be placed in the landfill. Landfill should be covered after its filling and there are several ways. Nowadays people talk about phyto capping of landfills also. In case of phyto capping, the grass or the plants are grown over the landfill because if we grow the grass or land, uh, these plants over the landfill, that time soil will remain over there uh, by the uh, roots of the plants and uh, the waste will not come out of the landfill. Then we have also discussed how to recover the waste and leachate that is produced in the landfill site. We also discussed the degradation of waste and we discussed different factors that influence the waste or degradation in the landfill site. Dear students, once a landfill is covered with the waste, uh, the, with the soil, then different kind of reactions start in the landfill site. And these reactions may take place for next 30 to 50 years. So once a landfill is covered, is filled, we cannot leave it abundant. We have to take care of this. Then we also discussed that what kind of structure or what kind of use of a field landfill site is made. I hope you enjoyed these modules. Thank you.